Hey guys, it's Erin with Hand Stamp Style, and in this quick tip video I have for you today, I'm going to show you how using your piercing mat with your photopolymer stamps makes your images come out so much better. So I want to show you the difference between, um, or I guess first off I want to explain to you why it makes a difference to stamp with your piercing mat versus just your photopolymer stamps on a hard surface. If you'll see, our wood mount stamps has like a foam um, pad, I guess, between the actual red rubber and the block itself. Whereas with the photopolymer, we don't have that. So I'm going to show you the difference here. First, I'm going to show you just on a flat surface. I'm going to ink up my stamp and I'm just going to... You'll see that there's usually air bubbles that are left. In between. Now you can you can take care of this if you stamp down before you separate the, the paper and the stamp, you can brayer behind it. But the other thing that you can do, which makes it even easier, is to use your piercing mat. That way when you stamp down, you're actually gonna get better even coverage. Do you see how much better that that image is? Now my stamp is dirty, that's why you see those little dots. I've got a bunch of crap stuck on it. But can you see the difference? This piercing mat gives you that little extra resistance, that foam that you need um, that makes a difference with your stamped images. I hope you guys found that helpful and good luck using your photopolymer stamps with this new technique. You'll be amazed at how your images come out. Have fun guys, be creative, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Let us see inside your mind You'll find inspiration All I'm saying is you can do it I wanna hear you say Let's do this and do it now. I wanna hear you shout.